So despite a poor start to the Premier League season where he's been forced to play as a centre forward, I think everyone would agree that last season Marcus Rashford was one of United's best players. And going forward over the next few seasons, if he is used in the right role in the right system with the right players around him, he certainly has the potential to be the same sort of player that Bukayo Saka is to Arteta to Ten Hag's Manchester United. However, I think Ten Hag should slightly tweak the system and the personnel around Rashford to not just get the best out of him individually, but also get the best out of United's attack as a whole. And I think despite it looking likely that Alvaro Fernandez will go on loan before the end of the transfer window, I think he, either if he doesn't go on loan this season or next season, could be the answer that Ten Hag needs. And in the process, he could save United around 50 to 60 million pounds. But before I go any further, are you looking to dramatically improve your fantasy football point score from last season? Well, let me tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Fantasy Football Fix, which is the perfect tool for anyone who wants to get the best possible start to this FPL season, as they provide an Elite 11 team reveal, which allows you to track fantasy football's greatest ever managers in real time. With over 82 top 10,000 and 61 top 5,000 finishes. And just in my opinion, if you're not using this and someone else is, you're at a massive disadvantage. But not just that, Fantasy Football Fix also allows you to see the pre-deadline captain ownership data. The assistant manager tool also allows you to unlock transfer optimization. And you can also get predicted prices data to potentially get an advantage in the long run by increasing your team's overall value. And alongside this, they also have stats from Opta, they have predicted player points and much, much more. And I personally will definitely be using Fantasy Football Fix and I'll be setting up my own fantasy football league so i'll put a code somewhere either on the screen or in the description so not only can you join my league but you can also use fantasy football fix to try to beat me as well and so i'll leave it linked in the description for you to go to after this video but before we come on to rashford let's go over what kind of player alvaro fernandez is so the 20 year old spanish left back who arrived from real madrid in 2020 impressed not just for united under 23s but also whilst on loan with preston in the championship last season He's physical, athletic and quick, being 6 foot 1 in height and has a similar kind of build to players like Marcus Alonso or a young Gareth Bale. Combine this with his technical ability and it's no surprise that Fernandez is a fantastic carrier of the ball as his FB ref report from the championship last season shows. He ranked in the low 80th percentiles for his carries into the final third and his carries into the penalty area. But probably more impressively, he ranked in the low 90th percentiles for his successful take-ons, as well as his successful take-on completion rate as well, showing that Fernandez doesn't just complete a lot of take-ons in high volume, but also successful around 60% of the time he tries a take-on as well. And this ability to retain the ball on the flanks is definitely something that Ten Hag needs, with Anthony and Garnacho continuously losing possession with their failed dribbles and misplaced passes. Now Fernandez certainly isn't as good a passer, particularly from deeper areas, and you can see from the passing metrics in his FB ref report that he's not the sort of player who's a high volume passer or someone who excels in circulating and retaining possession. And considering he ranked only around the mid 30th percentiles last season for his passes into the final third, as well as his overall progressive passes, he's probably not the sort of player you want in that deeper 4 or 5 players in the system because he's not the type of fullback who's going to excel in playing those incisive passes into players between the lines or switching the play to the other flank with a long raking pass. Instead, you want Alvaro Fernandez bombing down the left flank essentially providing winger like output and being a threat in the final third as he was for Preston last season playing mostly as a left wing back and a left back as well and you can see the type of output he was able to produce ranking around the 75th to 80th percentile range for his xg assisted his key passes as well as his passes and crosses into the penalty area as well but how will Alvaro Fernandez's attacking abilities get the best out of Marcus Rashford? Well, in order to understand how playing in front of a left back like Alvaro Fernandez would benefit Marcus Rashford, we've got to analyse Marcus Rashford looking at his strengths and his weaknesses. And playing as a left sided attacker, Marcus Rashford has got plenty of competition around Europe, with players like Rafael Leal, Kavarat Skylia, and Mitoma being some of the best players in world football at the moment, all who reside on that left flank. And if Marcus Rashford is to be a key player for Ten Hag in the long term, he needs to be on par with these types of players. And at least when it comes to goal scoring, you would definitely put Marcus Rashford in that bracket. And we can see this when we look at his FB ref report from the last 365 days when compared against every attacking midfielder and winger in Europe's top 5 leagues. Rashford ranked in the 99th percentile for both his non-penalty XG and his non-penalty goals, overperforming his non-penalty XG and scoring at a rate of 0.59 per 90, showing that Rashford is not just getting into excellent goal-scoring positions, but he's a clinical finisher when he gets those chances as well. 
If we compare this to Rafael Leal, who out of the three who I mentioned before is probably the most similar to Marcus Rashford, you can see that Rafael Leal, whilst not as high as Rashford, is still ranking pretty highly for both of these metrics, ranking in the low 90th percentiles for both. But whilst Rashford may have the edge over Leal in terms of goal scoring, when it comes to pretty much everything else in possession, Leal is a superior player. Whilst Marcus Rashford does rank around the 80th percentile for his carries into the penalty area, he only ranks around the 42nd percentile for his overall progressive carries and the 17th percentile for his carries into the final third, whilst also having a pretty low successful take-on percentage and only ranking around the 60th percentile for the volume of successful take-ons he actually completes. Whereas Rafael Liao in comparison is putting up elite level ball carrying metrics, Ranking in the low to mid 90th percentile range for his carries into the penalty area, his carries into the final third, and the amount of successful take-ons he completes as well. But Liao isn't just a superior carrier of the ball to Rashford, he's also a superior creator. Whilst Rashford ranked in just the 14th percentile for his XG assisted, and also isn't a high volume progressive passer either, Rafael Liao is ranking between the low 80th to mid 80th percentile range for his passes into the penalty area, his crosses into the penalty area, and his XG assisted as well. Which shows that whilst at the minute Marcus Rashford probably just edges Rafael Liao in terms of goal scoring inside of the box, when it comes to creating chances for others and progressing the ball into dangerous areas, there's no doubt that Rafael Liao is by far and away the better player. Now obviously Marcus Rashford needs to improve his ability to progress the ball forward via his passes, as well as his dribbles and his ball carries as well, making him a lot more valuable to United in the defensive, middle and even in the final third rather than just inside of the box. However, by having a powerful overlapping fullback like Alvaro Fernandez, who can probably provide those overlapping runs ahead of Marcus Rashford a lot more often throughout a game than either Luke Shaw or Malassia, and can also drive the attack forward, injecting pace into the attack by carrying the ball up the pitch, just as Liao does for AC Milan, this is going to take a lot of these pressures off Marcus Rashford, allowing him to essentially focus on being a forward rather than a natural winger, and in the final third, Fernandez's movement ahead of Rashford is simultaneously going to provide Rashford with the runs ahead so he can play these passes into the final third, knowing that Fernandez has the pace to get in behind the back line, but he's also going to drag players away from Marcus Rashford, giving him more space to cut inside and either look for a creative opportunity or a shooting opportunity. And this is exactly what Teo Hernandez provides for both Rafael Liao at AC Milan and for Mbappe with the France national side, and I think Marcus Rashford could benefit hugely from having this kind of attacking fullback behind him. Whilst I do really like Luke Shaw and Malassia, I do think they lack output in the final third at times, particularly when they get in beyond their winger and get into the byline, and they're both not really goal scoring threats either, whereas I think Alvaro Fernandez has the potential to really develop into this sort of player, having the ability to pick out players inside of the box when he gets into a crossing position near the byline. When Teo Hernandez plays behind Kylian Mbappe for the France national side, this allows Mbappe to sometimes move into narrower positions, opening up the opportunity for quick one-twos between Teo and Mbappe, which gets Teo in behind the opposition's back line into dangerous crossing positions, and I definitely think this sort of play would get the best out of Marcus Rashford, as rather than being a winger like a Mitoma or a Kavara Skylia, who likes to isolate his fullback in a 1v1, I think Rashford is much better on the flank when he's able to interplay with other players around him, whilst also being able to use their movement to create space for himself, and even if Ten Hag wanted to bring in another left back rather than using Fernandez, it would likely have to be someone of the calibre of Teo Hernandez or Alfonso Davies, who will definitely be expensive, likely between 50 and 60 million pounds next summer. And so if Alfaro Fernandez develops how I think he can, not only could we see Ten Hag using a more adventurous left back getting the best out of Marcus Rashford, but it could also save United around 50 or 60 million pounds. So thank you for watching, if you enjoyed that video remember to subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications. Check out some of my other videos linked in the description and put your thoughts on Alvaro Fernandez in the comments section below.